Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD-816-EX230-K 8 input, 16 output HDMI matrix and extender. This single product is really two products combined into one. It's an HDMI matrix that allows you to very easily redirect the output from eight different HDMI media devices to 16 monitors at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on which of the monitors at any given time by using the buttons on the front of the unit, the included infrared remote control, through a network connection by opening a browser, or by direct connecting it to a local computer. But it's also an HDMI extender, which means eight of those outputs can be sent to remote locations up to 230 feet away over nothing more than a Cat6 or a Cat7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 1.4 and 2.2 compliant. It also provides infrared blaster kits that will collect up the remote control signals from those remote locations and send those back over the same LAN cable to the primary location so you can remotely control the content you're watching. Finally, it employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means all you'll need is a single power supply at the primary site and all the power for the remote sites are sent over that same LAN cable. Now as part of this review, I'd like to start with a brief unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then, I'll take a closer look at the unit and explain the connections and indicators, I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a brief demonstration to show you just how easy this product will be to use. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the main unit, you'll find eight remote receivers, You'll find a single power supply. This is a 12 volt, 5 amp DC power supply with an AC cord. You can plug this into a wall outlet. This plugs into the power supply. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for the primary and secondary sites. You'll also find a total of eight transmitters. These are the infrared blasters and nine receivers. And the reason there are nine receivers is because you have one for the eight locations and one more that can be used with the main unit. Because if you locate this inside of a cabinet, the infrared won't work because it has to be picked up on the front of the unit. So having an infrared extender like this allows you to plug it into the unit, locate the receiver outside the cabinet so you can still use the remote control. You'll also find sticky pads for the receivers. There's bracketing kits included for all the remote receivers and a bracketing kit for the main unit. There's an RS-232 connection cable in case you decide to connect this to a local computer, an infrared remote control, a warranty card, and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important details about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. The product features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and the perfect solution for both residential and commercial installations. Along the right-hand side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this unit in a rack or up off the ground and out of the way. On the other side of the cabinet, You'll find a single ventilation fan right there, and that helps with evacuating any heat by pulling air across the electronics. You'll also find more mounting holes for the other bracket. On the front of the unit, on the right-hand side, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. It also is checking the input resolution of your media devices and the resolution of the output devices to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Once it finishes that test, the power LED will come on letting you know the unit's ready to use. To the right of that is an infrared receiver window, and that's where the signals from the remote control are picked up. So if this is sitting on top of a cabinet and you can see the front of it, you can use the remote directly with the unit. If you locate this inside of a wiring closet or a cabinet, you'll need to use the infrared extender kit, which plugs into the back of the unit, and you'll locate the receiver outside of the cabinet so it can pick up those signals. To the right of that are four buttons, labeled input down, input up, output up, and output down. These control which of the inputs is sent to which of the outputs by hitting these buttons, and these are fully explained in the manual. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find four feet. These are heavy-duty feet. They're designed to protect the surface you set it down on, as well as keep it from sliding around if you're pushing the buttons on the front. On the rear of the units, where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left, you'll find four outputs, one through four, and four more here, five through eight. 
And these are real connector displays. Now what's interesting is each of the outputs has both an HDMI connection for a local monitor as well as a LAN connection for a remote monitor. You can actually extend that monitor up to 230 feet away over a CAT6 or CAT7 cable by connecting it between here and the receiver module. In the center, you'll find eight input HDMI ports, and these are where you'll connect your media devices that you'd like to share across your outputs. Above that are infrared output connectors that can be used with the infrared blaster kits, and again, individually, you can control each of these media devices from the remote locations. If you need to use the infrared extender kit, you'll plug it in right there and locate the receiver outside the cabinet. Then you have a couple of ways to make your choices. You can use the buttons on the front of the unit, the included remote control, or through a network connection right here. You can plug this into your local LAN network, open a browser, and make your selections through that browser. Or you can make a direct connection to a local computer through this RS-232 port right there. There's a power button here to turn the unit on and off, and a DC input port right there that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connector on it. Plug it right in there, and that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. One last thing, this product provides power over cable technology, so one power supply plugged in here will send all the power required for the remote receivers through that same LAN cable, so you won't have to worry about power supplies at each of your remote locations. The kit also includes eight remote receivers that can be used to extend the content to eight remote locations up to 230 feet away from the primary location, and all eight of these receivers are the same. They feature metal enclosures, they have ventilation on either side, which again keeps the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the one end, you'll find a LAN port right there, and that's where you'll connect one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable between here and the main unit. To the right of that is a service port, it's a micro USB port, and that's used for updating the firmware on these receivers later on if improvements have been made. You can simply connect this to your computer, download the firmware file to it to complete that upgrade. To the right of that is a 3.5mm port labeled IRN, and this is where you'll plug in the infrared blaster at the remote location that will pick up the signals from that location and send those remote control signals back to the primary site through that same LAN cable to be rebroadcast so you can actually control the content you're watching from this location. To the right of that is a DC input port. You don't need to use that because this system uses power over cable technology, which means all the power for this receiver is being sent across that LAN cable from the primary site. So you can use a power supply, but it's not needed. On the other end, you'll find a single HDMI port labeled HDMI out. This is where you'll connect the monitor at that remote location where you'd like to enjoy that content. The O-Ray UHD-816-EX230-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including streaming devices, digital projectors, computer systems, game consoles, and media players like Roku. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high-definition media content, it provides 8 input and 16 output HDMI connections, it is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 1.4 and 2.2 compliant. It provides an extension of 230 feet between the primary and eight secondary locations and allows complete control of the product through a network connection, a direct RS-232 connection, or by using the infrared remote control and the buttons on the front of the unit. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up eight different media devices Four of them are small media players that are each displaying a different image to make it easy to tell them apart. Another one of the media players is rotating through those images. Another media player is looping a video. And I have my laptop and a Roku media streamer set up as well to show you just how easy it'll be to mix and match a wide variety of different media devices on the HDMI matrix extender at the same time. Over here, I have eight displays set up as my output devices. And here's where I'd like to enjoy the content from those input devices. In front of me, I have the HDMI matrix extender. Now the first set of connections I'll make are from the devices to the unit, and I've already connected up eight high-speed HDMI cables to each of the media devices, and I'll plug these into input number one through eight, and it's really important you use a high-quality cable because you want to make sure that you get the best possible resolution on your output displays. Also, by picking a high-resolution cable, it ensures that as you upgrade your media equipment, the cable will be able to handle those higher resolutions. So in a lot of ways, you're kind of future-proofing your setup. So there's number seven. Let me get that in there. And then finally, number eight. Now, once I've made these connections, 
I'm ready to connect the outputs. This unit provides eight input connections that are HDMI, and it provides eight output connections, but you have a choice between HDMI or IP. And the IP connection allows you to extend that media to a remote location up to 230 feet away. So you could technically have eight local displays and eight remote displays all working at the same time. So to show you the difference between them, I'll connect four of these monitors up directly to the HDMI ports and four more through the extenders. So I've already got four high-speed cables right here connected to four of the monitors, and I'll plug those into output five, six, seven, and eight. And then once I've done that, we'll connect up the extenders. Now, one other feature this product provides is a power over cable technology. So when you make the IP connection to those remote locations, the power required for those receivers is sent over that same LAN cable. So you don't need power supplies at each of those remote locations. I have four short cables here. But again, you can extend these up to 230 feet away to each of the locations. And I'll plug these into the IP ports on the back for one, two, three, and four. And then I can connect them to the receivers individually. I've already connected an HDMI cable to the monitor, so all I need to do is plug the LAN cable in the front. And that's the only connection I'll need to these remote locations. There's two, we'll get three, and then finally number four. And once I've made those connections, we have four monitors connected locally through HDMI and four monitors extended over that LAN network. The only thing we're missing at this point is the power supply. I've already plugged that in. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the back of the unit on the DC port. But the minute I add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. It's also checking the resolution of the input devices and the resolution of the output devices to make whatever adjustments are needed to give it the best possible picture on the unit. Once it finishes that, you'll see the displays all come on. So there we go. You can see I've got the Roku right there. I've got four static images. This one's rotating through. That's my laptop playing a video. And it really is pretty simple to get it working. And the beautiful part about a matrix is that you have complete control over which of the inputs is sent to which of the outputs at any given time using the buttons on the front of the unit, the included infrared remote control, or through a LAN connection to your network by opening a browser. So you have a lot of flexibility about how those displays are showing your input content. You can actually take one of the input streams and display it on all of the monitors at the same time. And the best part about this particular unit, in addition to being a matrix, it's also an extender so I could extend eight locations remotely with content and eight locations locally with the same content. So it gives you a lot of flexibility of not only what you're displaying, but where you're displaying that content. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD-816-EX230-K helpful. It really does a great job of combining two very popular products into a single unit. It's an HDMI matrix, which again allows you to redirect the output from eight different HDMI media devices to 16 monitors at the same time while providing control over which of those media streams is being sent to each of those monitors individually by using the buttons on the front of the unit, the included infrared remote control, through a network connection by opening a browser, or by connecting it directly to a computer. But it's also an HDMI extender, which means eight of those outputs can be sent to remote locations up to 230 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable. And the fact that it fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content means you can play the latest highest resolution files on those output monitors. And it's also HDMI 2.0B and HDCP 1.4 and 2.2 compliant, so you know it's gonna work with all of your modern media gear. And the fact that it includes infrared blasters that allow you to remotely control the content means eight of those remote locations will have complete control over how that media is being played. And finally, the power over cable technology greatly simplifies your wiring by sending the power required for those remote locations over that same LAN connection cable. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.